is our battery analyzer. You can buy this from 1AAuto.com. It works on conductance. It has a couple neat features, and if you don't have access to a multimeter, this is a pretty inexpensive tool to keep around, and it will tell you a few things. It has two leads on it. There's no on or off button. As soon as you hook it up to the battery, it will power on. So we're gonna go red to positive, black to negative. I'm gonna pull this cover off. If your car has a cover on the positive terminal, you take it off, make sure you get a nice good, uh, good spot close enough to the terminal. If they don't fit over the terminal, we'll hook it to the negative side. It will turn on, initialize. So it's actually telling us right now what our battery voltage is. So without using a multimeter, we've now got our battery voltage, 11.9 volts. That's not great for a battery. That's a little on the low side, but this car has been sitting and it hasn't been driven. It should be closer to 12 volts. So immediately we know that the battery does have some voltage in it. It's not completely dead, but that is a low charge. So as you step through this, we can hit enter and it's asking us a couple things about this battery to do a battery test. Uh, conductance testing is sending a small AC ripple through the battery and it's checking uh, the return signal of it to see if the plates inside have become sulfated or corroded. So without getting too deep into the, uh, how a battery works, it's basically just testing through the battery by sending a small AC signal and then measuring how it returns back to this. So I know that this battery is a regular liquid type. So we're gonna hit enter. It has a few ratings, SAE, DIN, IEC, EN. For this battery, we're gonna use cranking amps. That's pretty much the standard in America. We're gonna find on the battery, there should be a tag on the top noting the, the cranking amps of the battery. So it is, um, that is the cold cranking amps, our 640. There's another, uh, we're gonna look for the CAs, the cranking amps, and I can just make it out. You might have to move your battery tie down out of the way, but I can see that's a seven, so it's 700 cold cranking, 700 cranking amps. So we're gonna, raise this up uh, place it towards me. so we're going to raise this up until we get to 700 and then i'm going to hit enter and it's going to test it says it's good it's got 486 so it's kind of low but it says good recharge so basically this car just needs to be driven or have this battery put on a charger now the next thing we can go through we can check the charging system so you hit the button again it's also telling us the state of health that's what SOH is 69% out of 100% so it's not too bad and we're gonna hit this button again state of charge so 18% so that's pretty low um, if we go back the state of health is that's the conductance test so the battery's in pretty good shape um, 69% out of 100%, 100% would be a brand new battery. The charge is pretty low though, 18%, so the car doesn't need to be driven or the battery doesn't need to be charged. It goes back to the beginning as you cycle through. So then we're gonna hit enter. And we hit this button here. We can go from the battery test to system test. So it's got 11.94 volts, we'll hit enter. And when you hit enter, it's gonna ask you to start the car and, but before you do this, you wanna make sure that all of your uh, load devices in the car are shut off. So like the headlights are off, the radio's off before you try to do this. Because once you hit this button, you've got a minute to start the car and let the tool do its test. So I'm gonna hit enter. And I'm gonna go start the engine. <clears throat> So it tells us our cranking volts, 9.43. Tells us it's normal. So I'll hit the enter button. Now we can check for charging because the vehicle is running at idle. 
It reminds you to make sure the headlights are off, the radio is off. We'll hit enter. It's charging. We're seeing 14.4 volts, which is normal charging, so I know the alternator is working. I'm going to hit enter again. It tells me to turn on uh, some of the loads. So we're going to turn on the headlights. Now I'm going to hit the enter button again. See the voltage drop just a little bit, so the alternator is keeping up perfectly. It's charging normally, so I know the charging system's working. And the test is over. You turn off the headlights, shut the engine off. And then we'll hit enter again. So now you can see just after running the vehicle, there's a little bit of surface charge left in the battery. This battery's in pretty good shape. The vehicle just needs to be driven. So there is a LCD brightness adjustment. But other than that, it's a pretty straightforward little tool. It's very easy to use, very handy to have. Now we're done with this tool. We'll pull the positive one off, pull the negative one off, replace our cover, and you're all set. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.